Deborah Deshear, I'm Dean of the College of Architectural Planning. And welcome to the story about our Net Zero project. You know, the world of design is really changing, and the College of Architecture and Planning has changed with it. Back in 2003, the Urban Planning Program moved from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences to the College of Architecture and Planning. We renamed the college at that time, and at the same time, we started adding students in great numbers. And the college has actually grown about 300% uh, in the number of students and about 200% in the number of faculty. Along with that growth, of course, our building has stretched to accommodate just about as much as it possibly can. Of course, the most sustainable solution would be for us not to build anything at all. We're working very hard to make sure in the Net Zero project that we use our space efficiently. The idea for a Net Zero renovation project came to us as we we're talking about renovating the building and expanding it for our, for our expanding programs. We realized that with the new issues of sustainability really consuming the kinds of education that we're providing, in order for us to sort of walk the walk and live the way we talk, we really needed to think about what the ma maximizing what this building could do in terms of sustainability. That means not only sustainability from the standpoint of making the building more sustainable, but actually educating students as we go through it. Our general rule is that we run with studios, which are intensive classes where the students really build things and learn to do projects by actually doing the project. But that's a kind of space intensive use, and we've found that we'd love to keep that kind of pedagogy going, but it's going to take more space. There's been a real outpouring of support for this project that we're really gratified to see. Not only do we have students who have become involved in it and really thrown themselves into investigating some of the net zero strategies, but we have local architects and engineers who are giving a tremendous amount of their own time free of charge to helping us figure out what it is we can actually do and how we can do it well. Not only do the local architects involved, the Department of Energy has recently agreed to become a partner with us so that they can help us put as much new technology into the building and also new other kinds of strategies and learn from it themselves. So we feel like this project is really on a roll in terms of really getting support from the community. Oh, I'm very excited about this project. Um, this is such a great architectural gem, this building, and I'm really anxious to see what people could come up with that are really going to make it even better as a project. Uh, I'm excited to see how the different technologies are going to be deployed in this building and how we've already seen a lot of sort of clever uh, talk and um, ideas that have already come out of the community. So I see it not only as a project uh, to build uh, a building, but it's also a project to build community. And for me, that's a very exciting thing.